What up, what up, what is up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jason, welcome back for another Madden 25 online rank match, and today, sit down, relax, we are going to give you guys the game of the year, this game is possibly going to be the greatest game of Madden you've ever seen in front of your face, so first of all, Definitely hit the like button, show your support for this video. It's almost a half an hour. This, this is almost a TV show. Add it to your favorites. You're going to want to watch this bibliosity over and over again. So we have the Packers going up against the Cowboys. My opponent does that every single play. He comes out in four wide and he motions out DeMarco Murray and he puts him on the wheel route every single play. Now, of course, this is my first time seeing this type of offense. Look at Dez Bryant. Look at Dez Bryant turning into Dezatron right here. Look at this. Breaks one tackle. That's not enough. Breaks two tackles. And then he breaks a third tackle in his way to the end zone. Absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm like, come on, guys. We got to tackle him. So, as I was saying, Madden is a very big game of adjustments, right? So, I'm close to the top 100 again I'm under my Golden Sports account. And I'm facing somebody who's very close to the top 100 too. So, I'm facing somebody who's very, very well. And he has the offense that I am forced to adjust to. I can't blitz because he's just going to dot me up, which I later on realized. So, here we go. Our first play of the game. We end up going to his. We hit the outside and he can't go. Oh, the way. We end up scampering onto the end zone on our first touch of the game. And I'm like, that's great. 7-7. Seven, seven. Now I'm back on defense. And now his peculiar offense, something I haven't seen yet, is giving me problems. I cannot stop this man. Every time he hikes the ball, he is just finding receivers up and down the field. Quick wheel route, so I have to adjust. I have to put a light blue over there to try and defend that. And here he goes, rolling outside the pocket. He goes over the middle, and it's a fumble! And we end up recovering, and I'm like, yes, that right there was great. We get lucky. I can't call it anything other than that. It wasn't a strip. It wasn't a big hit. It was a regular funky-ass tackle, and we end up getting a fumble. And I will gladly take that. And look at Cobb shredding people off because he's so strong! And right now, we have the opportunity to take our first lead of the game, which obviously we love doing, right? Who doesn't like leads? So there we go. We thought we might get a premature tackle, but he does a smart veteran move. He puts this guy in position, then he clicks off to allow the computer AI to get the tackle. Quick little pass to Finley, and look at him rumbling, mumbling, stumbling, almost all the way to the first down. So third and two right here. Let's see if we can pick this up. We end up hitting him with the read up. He's some third son. We hit the outside, and we get within the five-yard line where we struggle heavily. So hopefully we can go on ahead and pick up these points. We try a screenplay, and that one absolutely no. We actually went backwards. You're going the wrong way, Rogers. So here we go again. We try another run play. And oh, look at here's running over people, getting us back in the five-yard line. So here we are on the three-yard line. We're looking quick little wheel route to Jeremichael Finley, and we end up gaining the lead. He actually goes offside on a PAT. So under one yard line, very simple, QB sneak, huddle over the center, you score a two point conversion, now I'm up eight and I feel good, right? So 15 to seven, and I'm back on defense, and I know I got lucky, I can't call it anything other than that, I got simply lucky. And again, his offense is just giving me trouble. I try to send pressure, but he would just find receivers too quickly. He'll have Des Bryant over the middle, he'll have DeMarco Murray on the wheel, he'll have zig routes, double moves, it's just confusing me. I'm really having all sorts of trouble getting to familiarize myself with this offense, you know, because he's got so many different combinations of routes, and it's truly giving me problems. And I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be one of those games where if I mess up offensively, I'm possibly done for because he seems to have an offense that I don't even think I'm going to be able to handle. Because, again, I'm against Fagdy, and that's clearly the best option to do against this 5 wide. Fag D would help me a ton, but that's against my code. I don't do Fag D. I'm always going to rush three at a minimum. So I'm going to figure out how to stop this offense without playing Fag D, even though I know my best option is Fag D. But again, that's not me. That's not what I'm about, so I'm going to stay away from that. So I got to find some other means of stopping this guy's offense. 
So here we go back again on offense ourselves. Hopefully we can go on ahead and score another touchdown because I need to be just as crisp as he is. You know, we catch him now. Oh, he's some dirt, son. We caught him with the little backslide. I said we caught him with the backslide. And right now, 15-13. Let's see if we can go on ahead and get into the end zone. So far, I'm liking what we're doing offensively. You already know Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion, is the second best player in Madden, only followed by... Adrian Peterson, you know, I think Adrian Peterson is the best player in the game, then I give it to Aaron Rodgers, so, uh, right here, third and inches, instead of the QB sneak, we go for HB toss, man, it's touch going up 22 to 13, and, uh, again, I didn't mention, but you guys obviously saw, he went for two and he failed, so, I do get ball at halftime, so that right there is definitely a plus, right there, he, um, uh, end up bringing it back due to a clipping penalty, and, uh, you know, back on up, back on up, back on up, so right now, 22 to 13, and, and I'm trying everything. I'm trying cover two, cover three, cover four, every coverage I can in the book to try and get a hand on what it is I can do to possibly stop this offense because right now he's torturing me. Right here, I play a little bit man-to-man, -man, and it's not working, right? DeMarco Murray is completely too fast. Des Bryant route running is too good. Jason Witten is the mismatch waiting to happen. He just has a firepower of offense and a combination of routes. His offensive scheme has absolutely got me boggled at this point. Boggled, so boggled that I'm using a word like boggled. So here he goes. We're calling timeout to see if we can go on ahead and hopefully receive the ball back with enough time to try and score. Because again, we do get ball at halftime. So if we can score, even if it's a field goal, get ball again, score again, that right there would be huge. So he goes for two. This time he's actually successful. He should have been stopped in the backfield. I don't know how he ran through three players, but that's what you get with DeMarco Murray, right? So 22 to 21. <clears throat> As I've stated, we have an opportunity to score. And get ball at halftime right there. We get a decent return to about the 30. So, you know, we have enough time to go on ahead and hopefully get in field goal range. We have Mason Crosby who has just an absolute killer leg. So, uh, right there, you know, he switches in. He gets his guys in position and he'll hold on to defensive assist. That way he doesn't fail on the tackles. You know, um, I'm only going backwards hoping for a premature hit stick or tackle. But uh, he's smart enough not to do that. So, first and 10 right here. We go over the middle. We try to hit him with the skinny hand. He read it. He baited the hell out of me. If you rewind that, he ran to the white, the right, excuse me. Then he busted Yui, ran over the middle, and he completely baited me. Can't say anything other than great defense. He baited the hell out of me. And, and here I am back on defense. I, look, I, I, I can't stop him. I don't even think I've seen an incompletion yet. And I'm trying everything. Again, another throw over the middle. There's so many things to worry about. I'm really focusing on the wheel routes. I'm trying to focus in over the middle. Then I have other routes on the sidelines. And, and I just can't figure anything out to try and stop this man. Here he goes for two again. This time we actually stop him. Yep, Thag Dion, two-point conversion. That's the only time I do it. I know I get scared when people run two-point conversion. But you don't see me run it during regular play. So cut me slack. One Thag D during two-point conversion. That, that's acceptable, right? I played like 300 games of Madden. I don't run Thag but I run Fagney on two-point conversions. That's just slide. Give me a break. Give me a break. Just a little break. So here we go back on offense, man. We, like I said, we get ball at halftime. So, you know, a field goal right here would be huge because, you know, hopefully we can make something happen. So six seconds left. Let One big play. And if we can get a field goal range, that would be great. Unfortunately, we just went with the, my routes that I wanted to go to really quickly. We're locked up. So we went over the top and nothing happens, right? So 27 to 22. And guess what the Madden guys decide to do? They're like, hey, GS, you remember that uh that fumble you got? You remember that? That lucky little old fumble that you got in the uh, the first quarter? The one that uh, gave you the lead 15 to 7? Oh, don't worry. I didn't forget. So here I go, you know, running the ball, trying to do very well. You know, again, and it's a fumble. And he recovers the fumble. And at this point, honestly, I remember my thoughts very fluidly. I'm not mad. I go, <sighs> he got his fumble back. Can't be mad. I got a fumble. He got a fumble. It's, you know, it's whatever. I can't be mad at that. So, you know, we're, we're even. We're even. Just don't get, just don't let me fumble anymore. So, here we go. Third and two. And again, he is just destroying me. And I'm thinking to myself, I, I think I'm done. I, there's nothing I can do to stop this man. I, I can't stop him. So, 34 to 22. Now, we need to make a comeback, right? right? Now, we need something to happen. And if we don't score here, we are in trouble. Huh, so we decide to run the ball, and it's a fumble! And we fumble again, and he recovers. Not only do I fumble as I'm getting ready to select my next play, of course I'm pissed off, right? This is the message that this guy decides to send me 
at my highest point of aggravation. He sends me that. Well, okay, I said it too early. That. There it is. Wow. That's the beautiful message he said. It says, quit, bitch. And everybody wants to know I don't curse, but bitch is not a curse word if you ask me. It's just female dog and heat. That's all it means. It's even said on national TV. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't call your parents that. You'll get slapped in the face. That's the message I got. And now I want to break something at this point. Because clearly he knows I can't stop him. Clearly he knows, you know, getting back to back fumbles is a high chance of me being able to not win because I can't do anything against his offense. And then he sends me a message that says, quit, bitch. You guys don't understand how angered I was at just looking at that message. And he scores. He decides to go for two, but he fails. I am down 22 to 40. This guy has scored with ease every single time he's touched the ball. I am now trying to orchestrate an offense that has fumbled on back-to-back plays. I am down three possessions. Do I think I'm going to win at this point? Hell no. I remember just feeling so down. Right here, we get a big play to Finley, and we score a touchdown. I'm thinking, okay, okay, we, we might have an opportunity. Maybe we can have something happen. We go for two, we're successful. We're still down two possessions. We brought it down from three possessions to two possessions. We still have a small opportunity, right? But I'm going up against the offense that I haven't even, I haven't even, he hasn't stumbled. The guy hasn't had a small hiccup yet on my defense. So there he goes, rolling outside the pocket. When I have everything locked up, Tony Romo runs for 13 yards. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, what else do I got to do? What else do I got to do? I can't stop this guy. Right there, I had a flat route preparing for the, the wheel. We were in position, but we don't get a pick animation. So here it goes on second and 10. We send a little bit of heat. Thankfully, we get a bad throw from Romo. Now I'm thinking third down. Okay, this may be his th- first third down I can remember. He goes to a wheel route, and he doesn't get the first down. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe we can stop him on fourth and one. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He picks up the first down, and I'm thinking to myself, now it's it's game over. He's going to be in field goal range. He's just going to add on to the lead. The guy is throwing di- He is threading needles out here. Threading needles. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I put on a flat route, I adjusted to his routes, what more you want me to do Madden? I am adjusting to his offense and I can't get rewarded, that right there was a flat out drop, flat out easily dropped interception, and I'm thinking to myself, what more do I gotta do? There he goes, he backs up, he throws in the coverage, and I'm sorry, son, but no so for you. And now I'm thinking, oh, oh, wait a minute, the fourth quarter's not even here yet. We, we may have a shot to come back against this guy. We hit the quick wheel route to Harris, and now it's no huddle mode. We have to score as quickly as possible. Harris gets injured. Don't worry, everybody's getting injured now. We throw really quickly to Finley. He breaks the tackle, and look at the strength of Finley being able to go forward. Now, like I said, we're no huddle. We're in desperation mode. We need to score quickly. We hit him with the skinny, but Cobb drops the ball. Come on, guys. I need you guys to help me. I need all the help I can get. So then we go picking up a first down, and of course, Billy gets injured, and he's out for the remainder of the game. And we hit him with the skinny with Nelson, and now I'm thinking, if I score, it's a one-possession game. The momentum has clearly shifted from being down 22 to 40 in the third quarter not only that the guy sent me a message saying quit bitch how great would it be to be able to rub it in this guy's face that we came back right how satisfactory would that be knowing he lost this game and he sent me that message right so now i'm thinking we need to lock up we need to lock up and not allow him to do anything but then he switches his game plan all of a sudden now he starts running the ball with DeMarco Murray, who was one of the glitchiest running back and one of the best running backs in the game. Now I need to prepare for a heavy clock milkage. Right there, I prepared for a run. He passed. Thankfully, we got to Romo in time. He runs again, and as you guys know, DeMarco Murray is very tough to stop. So 36, all I feel like is I need one opportunity. He goes for the C route and is overthrown. Fourth down. 
can I get the ball? He goes back to the same route and Romo's being Romo. We all know that his attributes in the fourth quarter, they're Romo. He's not clutch. So we get the ball in an opportunity to be able to take the lead. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe I'm in this situation. He hasn't scored since he sent me that message. So here we go, third and six. I'm looking, I see him. And I throw an interception, giving the game up. I invested so much emotion in this game. Look at Squeer cutting back over the middle of the field, being wide open. I see him. I throw it anyways. I, I, I messed up. I messed up. I make a bad read. I fought so hard to get back in this game. I want, when I saw that message, I wanted to win this game so bad. I would have given anything to be able to win this game. But I make a mistake. I throw an interception. And I know what's coming now. Heavy dosage of DeMarco Murray. He's going to kill the clock on me. And uh, Square was wide open over the middle. Now I'm forced to use my timeouts. There he is. Another dot over the middle of the field. You guys don't understand how upset I was. I put myself in a, in, in a situation to try and, and, and uh, succeed, and I failed. He brings the clock down to two-minute warning. I only have two timeouts left. First down, this, this game is over. So he stopped my call a timeout. All I can think of is just messing up with that interception. How could I make such a stupid read? He was clearly double-covered. Right there, we, we jar the ball loose. But again, one first down and this game is over. And I haven't stopped this dude all damn game, man. He throws to the left. And it's an interception! I'm sorry, son, but no of you. Give it to me, baby. And I'm thinking about some. Yes! Yes, we still have an opportunity to win this game. All I need is a field goal. All I need is a couple of yards. Because I know I have Mason Crosby who can kick the pigskin out of the football. So here we go. We run the ball. We're in field goal range. He's not wasting any timeouts. We we uh, bring the clock down. We run the ball. Then he calls timeouts with 30 seconds remaining. And of course, we kick an absolute dot with Mason Crosby. Now, here I am. Back on defense, facing somebody who sent me a message at my highest point of aggravation. He sent me a message when I was down 40 to 22, and I just fumbled back-to-back -back possessions. And he has not scored since he sent that message. 19 seconds left. All he needs is a field goal. All he needs is one big play, and I still have an opportunity to lose. So here he goes. He throws over to the right, and we drop an interception. And I'm okay. Let's calm down. Let's make this absolute comeback happened so he throws a first down over the middle seven seconds remaining i can't play three men deep and back everybody up because one big out route he's in field goal range four seconds left we throw everybody in their mother back he throws it up top and we win the game oh my god first and foremost i don't care who you are if you just like this video you're an absolute hater. You can't tell me otherwise. Oh my God. I was literally, I cannot tell a lie. This is 100% true story. May God take my son away from me. If anything I'm saying next is a lie. My heart was beating so fast and my fingers were trembling. I've never played a game and had my whole entire hands shake. I was shaking like I just seen a ghost. Both of my hands could not stop shaking. I could not believe that I won this game. From looking at a standpoint, defensively, of knowing I didn't stop this guy at all. He was destroying me. I fumbled back to back. He picks up, of course, both he scores both times. I'm down 40 to 22. In the third quarter, three possessions, and we come back and win. But what makes this game even better is the fact that he sent me a message.
telling me to quit, bitch. Right after he recovered the second fumble, he was up 34 to 22. He knew he was gonna score because I haven't had it. I didn't even put a small nick in his offense. Not even a small nick. And you better believe we have a message for you. This right here has to be one of the best comebacks I've ever done. I've given up, besides that fumble, basically 40 straight points. Couldn't stop this man. Then all of a sudden, things just started clicking. He just started missing throws. He started making bad reads. We started getting the ball back, and we started to score. Little by little, we climbed and fought our way back into this ball game, and we won. Oh my God, when I tell you guys, I've never shaken after a game. I, I just couldn't believe I won. I truly could not believe I won this game. I sat for in half an hour thinking to myself, oh my God, did that just happen? And of course, we send him a message. Thanks for the skill points, bitch. And of course, he doesn't respond. Why would he? That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to favorite this video because you're going to want to watch it again. It's your boy GS. Hope you guys enjoyed the game of the year. My voice is damn near lost from yelling. I'm out, peace. Give it to me, baby.